Today's lesson is about review for solving trig equations with a graphing calculator. So for number two, solve for x on the specific domain. For a, eleven cosine x minus nine equals zero. We looking for the solution between zero to two pi. First of all, we know this is a linear pattern, so we need to isolate the cosine x on one side. Therefore, I add nine on the right side, then I got eleven cosine x equal to nine. Then I divide it by eleven. So I got the cosine x equal to nine over eleven. Then I go to reference angle. That's equals the inverse cosine nine over eleven. We put this into calculator. We got one point four nine zero. Then we go to diagram. Since、uh, for this cosine is positive, that's why we go to first and a、uh, fourth quadrant. For the first quadrant, that's reference angle one point four nine zero. For fourth quadrant, we do two pi minus one point four nine zero. So we put this into calculator. We got four point seven. Nine four. Then you need to check this、uh, angle. Angle is a、uh, x. That means、uh, x equals this to angle. Therefore, we got the x one equals one point four nine zero. X two equals four point seven nine four. I'm looking for the angle between zero to two pi. From this diagram, this is the angle will be between zero to two pi. So this is the solution. Now let's go to B. Still, this is a linear pattern. So I add a seven to the right side. I got the ten sine x equals to seven. Then I need to divide it by ten. You will get the sine x equal to seven over ten. Then we go to reference angle. That will be inverse sine seven over ten. We put this into calculator. We got zero point seven seven five. Since、uh, for Sin x equals seven over ten is positive. We go to the first and a second quadrant. First quadrant, that will be the reference angle. For second quadrant, that will be pi minus zero point seven seven five. So we put into calculator, you got the two point three six six. Then you check the angle. Angle is x. That means this x equals to these two angle on the diagram. Therefore, your x one equals zero point seven seven five. X two equals two point three six six. This will be the solution for x between zero to two pi. Any angle we got from this diagram directly, that will be the solution between zero to two pi. Now let's go to number three. Solve for x on the specific domain. We got the sine x minus one point forty five equals negative seven point two three five times ten to the negative third power. First of all, it's already isolate this sine. So we directly go to reference angle. 
For the reference angle, we do inverse sine. But remember, for this number should be turning to positive because your reference angle on the first quadrant. So we got the positive seven point two three five times ten to the negative third power. So we put into calculator, we got、uh, this one. 0.00724. Since for this sign equals negative 7.235 times 10 to the negative third power less less than zero, so we go to diagram. That's a go to third and a fourth quadrant. According to this diagram. We know that、uh, pi plus zero point zero zero seven two four, and、uh, for the fourth quadrant, we got two pi minus zero point zero zero seven two four. So we put into calculator, you will get three point one four nine. For fourth quadrant, we got six point two seven six. Then check what's the angle x minus one point five. That will be the angle. Therefore, you will set up x minus one point forty five equals three point one four nine. And、uh, x minus one point five equals six point two seven six. Then we do cross the river. That's plus one point four five. This part we add one point forty five. So x two equals here. X one equals. We put the calculator. We got four point five nine nine, and this one that's a seven point seven two six. And we go to general form. For the general form, first step you get the period. That's two pi over b. B is the number. Beside this x, that means the coefficient of x. That's two pi over one equals two pi. Therefore, we write down the general form. We got the four point five nine nine plus two pi times n, and a seven point seven two six plus two pi times n, and a n is a integers. Then we put this、uh, to general form into calculator. Let's go to y one and y two. Remember when you put into calculator this n as a variable change into this x. Then we check the table. I need a solution between negative five to five. Therefore, check y one and y two. We got the x equals negative one point six eight four four point five nine nine. Then you have negative four point eight four, and the last one will be one point four four three. So we have four solutions. For this、uh, equation, now let's go to B. Cosine x plus two point five four equals negative three point three six four times ten to the negative third power. First of all, it's already get a single trick, so we go to reference angle equals inverse cosine of four. Three point three six four times ten to the negative third power. We put into calculator. We will get one point 
five, six, seven. Make sure when you get the reference angle, you change this one into positive, because your reference angle always on the first quadrant. Then we go to diagram. Since、uh, cosine is、uh, less than zero, means、uh, go to second and、uh, third quadrant. So we use pi minus one point five six seven. We got the answer. Then the third quadrant, we got to do pi plus one point five six seven. From graphing calculator, you will get this. One point five seven four. And、I、also got this one is a four point seven zero nine. Then you need to check the angle is over here. So you have to set up this angle equals this two. Therefore, we got.、Uh, X plus two point five four equals one point five seven four. Then X plus two point five four equals four point seven zero nine. Then cross the river. I subtract two point five four. Subtract two point five four. You will get the x one and、uh, x two. For x one, that's a negative zero point nine six six. For x two, that's a two point one six nine. Now we will get the general form. For the general form, we need a period that will be two pi over b. B is a coefficient of x. That's one. So two pi over one equals two pi. Then I can write down the general form. X one is negative zero point nine six six plus two pi times n. X two will be two point one six nine plus two pi times n. Then n is a、uh, integers. So I'm looking for the angle between negative five to five. We need to put this general form into calculator y one and y two. Here we put into y one and y two. Then remember this.、Uh, N we turn into x when you put into graphing calculator. Then check the table. You will get the all values between negative five and five. That x equals negative zero point nine six six five point three one seven negative four point one one four two point one six nine. So we have. Four solutions for this、uh, equation. For number four, solve for x on the specific domain. First of all, we know this is a linear pattern. Therefore, we need to isolate this cosine three x on one side. Therefore, I need to add two point eight six four both sides. Then I divide by seven. Therefore, I got the cosine three x equals negative four point eight seven six plus two point eight six four divided by seven. We put this into calculator. You will get negative zero point two eight seven. Then we need to figure out the reference angle that will be inverse cosine of zero point two eight seven.
Then we got the calculator that will be 1.279. Since for this cosine, that's a less than zero. So we go to diagram. Let's go to second and then the third quadrant. So we get pi minus 1.279 and also pi plus 1.279. We got the answer. We got 1.862 and 4.4. Two one. Then we need to check the angle that's three x. So we set up three x equals one point eight six two, and also we set up three x equals four point four twenty one. Then we divide by three both sides. You get the x one and x two. X1 will be 0 0.621. For X2, you got 1.474. Since I'm looking for the angle between 0 to 6, we need to go to general form. Period will be 2 pi over b, b is 3, so 2 pi over 3. Therefore, our general form, you will write down 0 0.621 plus 2 pi times n over 3, and 1.474 plus 2 pi times n over 3. And uh, n is a uh, integers. Then you need to put this general form into graphing calculator like this. Remember that n we turn into x, 2 pi x over 3. Then you need to check the table. Remember we need uh, solutions between 0 to 6. Therefore, Solution will be x equals 0 then you have 5.663. Altogether, there are six uh, solutions between 0 to 6. Now let's go to B. First of all, still, you need to isolate the sine 3x on one side. Therefore, you need to add 1.986. Then divided by this uh, 5. So we got the sine 3x equals negative 4.534 add 1.986 divided by 5. Answer will be negative 0 0.510. Then you need to work on the reference angle equals inverse sine of 0 0.510. So put into calculator, you got 0 0.535. Since uh, sine 3x, that's uh, less than 0. Therefore, we go to third and a fourth quadrant. For the third quadrant, we do pi plus 0 0.535. Fourth quadrant, we do 2 pi minus 0 0.535. We put into calculator, you will get 
3.676 and 5.748. Then check the angle. We have three x equals to these two angles separately, so that I can get this uh, x. So we set up three x equals three point six seven six. Also, I got three x equals five point seven four eight. So we divide by three both sides. You will get your x one and x two. So we got one point two two five, and x two will be one point nine one six. Since I'm looking for the angle between zero to six, we need to get the general form. We know period that's a、uh, two pi over three. So we got the general form. That will be one point two two five plus two pi n over three, and a one point nine one six plus two pi n over three. N is a、uh, Integers. We need to put this general form into y one and y two. After we put this general form into graphing calculator, make sure this one is x, not n. Then check the table. Since I'm looking for the angle between zero to six, then you will get the. Solutions x equals one point two two five, three point three one nine, one point nine one six, four point zero one zero, and a five point four one four. All together, we have a、uh, five solutions. Now let's go to C. Still, I need to isolate the sine two x on one side because this is a linear pattern. Therefore, I need to add two point three four, then divide it by eight. So we got the sine two x equals four point one twenty six plus two point three four over. Eight. That is a zero point eight zero eight. Then we look for reference angle equals inverse sine of zero point eight zero eight. Put into calculator, you get zero point nine four one. Then we need to go to diagram. That is、uh, greater than zero. Therefore, go to first and a second quadrant. Your first quadrant, it will be your reference angle zero point nine four one. Then for second quadrant is pi minus zero point nine four one. That equals two point two zero zero. Then you need to check angle. That's two x. So two x equals to these two. We set up two x equals zero point nine four one, and also two x equals two point two zero zero. Divided by two both sides, you will get、uh, your x one and、uh, x two. So you get your x one that is a、uh, zero point four seven one, 
and for x2, that's a 1.100. Since I'm looking for the angle between 0 to 6, we need to do general form. P equals 2 pi over B. B here is 2. Coefficient of x, that's 2. So you got the pi. Therefore, your general form will be 0 0.471 plus pi times n and uh, 1.100 plus pi times n n is the uh, integers first of all we put this general form into y1 y2 and uh, then check the table i need the angle between 0 to 6 According to the table, we got the x equals 0 0.471, 1 1, 3.613, 4.242. We got four solutions for this equation.